On today's video we are going to talk about Tour and Travel Booking Manager for WooCommerce which is an amazing plugin and is a completely travel management system which includes plenty of useful features. You can create your travel booking website using Booking Manager plugin in less than about 10 minutes. So first of all what you are going to be doing is just head over your WordPress dashboard and from there to plugins and click on add new. After that here you will be able to see a search bar where you need to type Tour Booking Manager. And here you will be able to see the plugin on the very first number. Click on install now and wait for a couple of seconds. After that, an activate button will show up. When you click on activate, you will see a pop up message appear on top which is saying to install WooCommerce plugin also. So do the same for the WooCommerce plugin. Just wait for a couple of seconds and you will be pretty much done. On your WordPress dashboard, you will be able to see a tour tab on the left side of your screen. Also, in the tour tab, you will be able to see multiple types of sub menus. Now, to add a new tour, simply click on this add new tour option and here you need to add a title. After adding a title, you need to add a relative description for your particular tour. After that, you can add tour category, like for example, in my case, I'm going to type in group tour. And similarly, if you scroll a little bit down here, you can add tour organizers. And also, you can add tags and so on and so forth so let's move on to our general information and here add some descriptions so i'm just gonna quickly throw in some information also below here you have this option to create new location here you need to enter location name location description and location address and also you have option to upload relative images using which you can upload any type of content that you'd like and you want to upload once everything is set you can just click on this save location option and you are pretty much done Finally, you can select the max people allowed and the age range. After general information comes the date configuration and from here you can select the tour duration, tour type, tour registration and end date and, uh, and you can select the tour start date and tour start time respectively. After that comes the gallery tab and from here you can upload any type of pictures for your tour which will be representing your tour and you can just click whatever you would like to upload and make a gallery for your tour. After that comes the places you will see and here you can add the places the people on tour will be expecting to see. You can simply click on this add new place option and when you click on this uh, expand option here you can add the place name and um, you can also create a place um, totally from scratch also upload an image so that's a pretty cool feature. After that you will be able to see why book with us tab and here you can add some additional features regarding your trip explaining why your trip could be the best for their choice and you can add some few points just highlighting some important factors regarding your trip. After that you will be able to see this a related tour and using this you can add any tour which is related to your current tour and uh, after that you will be able to see extras now here you can add phone number and email for your customers to reach on to your site after that you will be able to see this pricing tab and this is from where you can actually manage the prices for the ticket section and you can see when you click on add new ticket type you can see many fields like for example ticket icon ticket name and uh, i'm just gonna type in here um, like for example adult and i'm going to add a ticket price uh, which could be 500 and uh, you can also add the availability quantity and default quantity and so on and so forth you have some stuff on there and if you scroll a little bit down here you have tour extra services price configuration and here you can add some paid goodies like for example i'm going to add t-shirt and you can also uh, add the service price quantity and the similar stuff there after that you have day wise details and here you can add some day wise details like for example what activities are going to be happening on the tour and also you have option to add uh, related images regarding that uh, particular activity so that's a pretty cool feature also and after that you will be able to see this features tab and using this you can include or exclude the features that are going to be available for your trip. To do so simply click on this create new feature and here you will be able to add a feature name and you can also add an icon for that particular feature. You can choose from a wide range of library you can see I'm going to select this arrow and uh, you can just save the feature and once you're done with uh, creating the features you can just simply check on the boxes to include the features and you can also do and you can do the similar to exclude the feature after that you have the tab related to frequently asked question and here you can simply add the questions and related answers for your faqs and this could be really helpful for your customers in case they want particular answer for simple questions so this tab could be really helpful to add that type of option 
After that, what could be seen is this activities tab and this could be utilized to add the activities that are going to be included on your trip. To do so, simply click on this add new activity and here you can add the activity name and again you have option to add icons from this wide range of library. You can choose any of your choice and save your activity and you are pretty much done. Your added activities could be added by typing in keyword for your activity and you can see it is visible and you can easily add in your tour. Now finally comes the display settings and from here you can select every option and every field that you want to enable or disable to be displayed on your trip. So you can see you have various options to, to switch on or switch off many details so you pretty much have full control of your tour. Okay so now we are pretty much done with customizing the settings and all we need to do is publish this particular tour and to do so you need to follow this step by step guide first of all we are going to be pressing this publish button after going to tours tab from the wordpress dashboard now we need to head over pages and all pages and from there we need to edit the home page simply click on edit and you will be directed toward the settings here you need to click on this plus icon, type in shortcode in the search field and here you need to enter a shortcode which could be found in the, in the description of the plugin's website. Simply copy that and paste it in the shortcode field. After that update your change and you're pretty much done. Now let's head over to the front of the page and see how our tour is looking. So you can see our tour is looking pretty great and when you click on it you can see our fully customized tour could be seen and our gallery is displaying nicely and if you scroll a little bit down you can also see the duration price from and maximum people and so on and so forth and if you scroll a little bit down more you'll be able to see the tickets that we made and and every single customization that we made so yeah guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you did so make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and also don't forget to share with your friends until next time peace